Hey guys, welcome to RK Keynotes. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft reporting services. So all you have to do is that you have to go to a Windows application and then you have to go to extensions and then there you need to find Microsoft reporting services projects 2022 and then you have to download and install. So let's quickly do that. So let me open Visual Studio and then create a new project over here and go for a windows application let me choose windows form app with dotnet framework and then say next next you have to create after this you have to straight away go to the extensions over here in the menu bar and then choose manage extensions and then here uh, in the online option, I mean, in the left side panel, you have to choose online. And then there you can select a search for report. Let me say report. And then it will extract all the matching apps for us. So we need to install this. Can you see this? Uh, Microsoft Reporting Services Projects 2022. Uh, SAP Crystal Report uh, is not supported in microsoft 2022 so we can use this which is similar to that so initially it will show something like that download can you see this over here for uh, rest of the softwares uh, tools i mean for rest of the extensions it is showing download option here so similarly for this it will show you the download option you have to click that and then you have to download uh, the setup so which comes somewhere around 100 mb it's like this so this is the downloaded one you can see that uh, Microsoft Data Tools Reporting Services. You have to just open this and install a uh, basic installation steps. After installing, what you have to do is, let me close it. You have to create a new project. And then here you have to search for report. And then you will be getting these options. So report server project wizard. And then another one is report server project. We'll be using this wizard okay so before that let's create a table in our sql server and then we'll get back to this so ssms that is sql server management studio uh, just open this we need to just have a table with few records so that we can connect that one uh, with this report wizard let's quickly do that so let me say connect and in the left side panel you can see the databases I'm going to use a demo database and then the table which I'm going to connect is this one, uh, crystal table. Okay, so let me quickly show you the records, number of records. So it is, so let's start from crystal table and then let me execute this. And I got around a thousand records in this table, so I'm just going to create a report for this. All right, fine. So now choose report, uh, you know, wizard option. And then let me say next. And then this is the project name, project report five, and then create. Now it will guide us because we have chosen this option, a uh, wizard. So next. And we're going to use, we're going to connect with Microsoft SQL Server. So these are all the available databases where you can connect with Oracle or any other database if, if required. So let me proceed with this connection string. If you know, you can enter it here directly or go here, click on edit. And then now you need to choose the server name. We know that the server name is available here. Over here, you can see that. And then let me just enter the same SQL Express. And then you can choose either Windows or SQL Server Authentication. I'm going uh, with SQL Server Authentication and enter your password. Save the password and enter the database name that is demo, which I'm going to connect. You have to click on test connection. It should uh, show this message successful. And that's it. Click on OK. Now click on next and then Basically, query builder, you can uh, uh, design 
your own query for example in this case i want to display i want to create a report for all the records so i'm not going to use any filters like where class or group class something like that constraints and all so let me keep it simple so so let's start from crystal table fine now say next and you have two options tabular or matrix form and you can see the column names are in the top here in the tabular uh, type and then these are all the column names from our table so you can choose basically you need to choose all these three options so i want in the column names like uh, serial number name date of birth and gender so i want to group with salary and uh, the details with city uh, so in in case if you want to drag and drop or if you want to remove something you can use these options like remove or if you want to bring uh, bring this name into this group yes you can do that or else you can move towards like this so this can be done all right so fine so you can move either way so you can use this even so it will go up down all right now this is just a sample uh, so let's see how the report actually looks like let me say next and then you have few options here for the layout so let me go with stepped and then say finish so the report name is report one uh, for example let me say report sample and then finish so the moment you click finish you can see this is the design view where we can uh, change uh, you know the layout size and if you wish you can change the title or the the color of these fields let me just change it for one and then fine so similarly you can uh, add columns or add any extra row if you wish you can see this insert you can insert whatever you want like charts maps fine uh, table text box so you can play around with this so so there will be, there are a lot many things where you can uh, you know add and insert fine so now let me show you the preview here there is a preview and if you click on this now it will show you the preview of few records you can see that we have thousand records this is the first record the name over here and then the date and time and then gender salary and city so now the thing is this is a sample right so if i save this as a pdf like you know mail merge right so similarly it will be generating the sample report for all the records like thousand records we we got in our uh, table so let me save this in the desktop and then let me show you that you can see that this is our file report sample which is just created all right let me open this and you can see it has got 1002 records and uh, this is very easy and uh, you can see that the second record is over here and with a different name similarly so all the 1002 records will be different and uh, this is easy uh, ready to print right now so this is how we can generate or create reports using microsoft reporting services so you can try this and if you have got any issues or errors let me know in the comment section i hope that you like this video if you like the video hit the like button do subscribe my channel thank you and thanks for watching the video